So uh, I was called to like I'm just testing my tool on this vehicle and the key is not in and you can see it's requesting for the key so the key is not in so I'm trying to program this key for it so let me go to Toyota it's a Toyota vehicle and I have to select by system because the ignition is not opening so I can't select I can't scan through and get the system so let me go to keyless and it is keyless and you can use this as an emulator so let me go and go to backup try and communicate with the vehicle and back up the emo data so now i'm trying to back up the emo data if it is able to back up the emo data then i can generate an emulator with this tool can turn into an emulator for me to program the smart key so it's now trying to back up the emo data so i'm backing up the emo data and you can see the key is off and the key light is blinking so after backing after getting the emo data now what i'll do next is i'll use this tool i'll use the km100 to start the vehicle and it is hybrid so you will not hear the engine running so i'm just waiting patiently for it to finish the backup so when the backup is done then I can generate the key successful. So now it's the backup is done successful, and I can just add something. I can add anything. Let me do. Let me do this name, and I can save it. So now that I've saved the backup, now I'll go to generate generate simulator key so select the backup data so this is the backup data for the key so we'll do that and after it has after it is done generation okay so it's telling me slk2 then okay so it will update then the device will turn into a smart key for emergency purposes so now you can see this is the device and i can start the vehicle with that so here is it i take the knob to push it and you can see now that the key is on and i'm not use, having any key on me so you can see i just use it use this device to turn it on so if i want to add the key then i go to add key function so that i can add the key so when it requires like it wants me to just turn on the key then i use it to push so you can see that when i press it with it the key is on and the ignition is also on and because it is hybrid so you can't hear anything so now the system is okay and you can see it will require so if i have any spec key to program it's easy for me to program it and now it's communicating so it's telling me to so you can hear so anytime i touch it with the second key that i want to program it will program now the car is in programming mode and you just heard the beep so now it's waiting for me to so so now it's communicating and okay kill any fuel because i didn't add the other key so so this is my key for the vehicle and it easily starts the vehicle even though when i go back to till i turn it off and turn it on or till i generate another key so you can see it's still turning on although i'm at this side so i can go back yes i can go back to telling me to remove the obd then go back and it is still the key to start the vehicle you can see so when i use it you can see it's still the key to start the vehicle so thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos